Hello everyone, it's Kay. So today is the um, I believe it's uh, 6th of October 2020 on Tuesday. And um, because I'm on a trip right now, when you look at this video, um, I decided to record the videos and upload them on this YouTube channel so that at least you can uh, keep learning from my YouTube channel. And um, when I'm traveling, I upload some videos on my second channel. So if you're interested, you can always come to my second channel and see uh, how I'm doing on, on this uh, on my private private uh, traveling. But anyways, um, I created this uh, part one, two, three series because um, I will be taking off uh, on uh, six today and also tomorrow seventh and then the eighth. And I will come back to Tokyo in the 9th in, um, in Friday. So um, yeah, for these three days, today, tomorrow, and the day after, I decided to um, create a series of videos so that uh, you can focus on the main topic. And the main topic for the three, next three days is actually this, uh, the, that's what it says here, the process matters. So I wanted to talk about the importance of process in this uh, for this uh, next three days. So hopefully you enjoy my recorded videos. And as a part one, I will talk about the winning versus greed, winning profit versus greed as our nature. So yeah, let's uh, get started right now. So as a disclaimer, this knowledge is based on my experience. So when you take risks, please do with your own risk. So um, yeah, process matters. Part one, winning versus greed. And for this uh, part one to three series, I would like to also introduce um, some of my favorite proverbs of uh, in, in Japan, in Japanese, so that I think it might be interesting to you and what kind of thought process I have as a Japanese forex trader. I think I'm the only Japanese forex trader from Tokyo, Japan who uh, teaches these, uh, you know, Ichimoku lectures and forex or trading lectures. So I thought it's nice to, you know, introduce these a uh, couple of words in Japanese so that you can have a different perspectives uh, about the market or about, about yourself as a trader. So. As part one, um, I would like to introduce one of the great, uh, one of the greatest Japanese chess player, and his name is um, Yoshiharu Habu, and I read his book a lot. I mean, a lot. <laughs> I think I read like a, like a yeah, like a ten. I think he uh, he wrote he writes like a ten or fifteen books, and I read everything. I read everything about his book. Um, especially when I was a newbie, I read a lot, and ever since I became a full-time trader, and ever since I become start to be, become a winning traders, um, I start to uh, I still read his books. Still nowadays, uh, these are my bibles, and I would like to introduce uh, one of the interesting uh, saying from him. And he says, um, "I always think of reasons of win or loss." right after the game ends. So if you can see the picture here, this is how uh, Japanese chess looks like. But um, yeah, he says uh, every time he, uh, he ends the game, um, he think about the winning or losses and uh, he think about the reasons. And in addition to this line, he never stands up or he never leaves the room until he can come up with the reasons why he won the game or why he lost the game. And this is the attitude that we would, like, we would also like to have as a professional trader, especially if you want to be a professional and full-time trader, this uh, mindset is very important to have. So sometimes, um, you know, you look at the market, for example, um, like uh, this is uh, CHFJPY, and this is trending up, and that's why I'm looking at it. I'm actually recording this on a, on a technically Tuesday at 1.35 a.m. in Japan time. 
and um, yeah this is gone up so I was looking for buy chance but let's say um, after this break on this line on this level uh, the price goes up this way so this is one hour chart so let me break it down to uh, 15 so let's say I take a buy I saw this uh, break and reversal and the price goes up this way so I take a buy here and let's say I keep holding this buy my stop loss in this case will be slightly below the recent low which was at, at this level so if I can redo it um, I will let's say I take a buy here and my stop loss will be slightly below the recent low at this level so let's say I keep holding this buy at this time and then what I think is that the uh, you know I will keep holding it until I set the break even that means if the market keeps going up this way breaks the recent high and um, you know comes down a little bit and if there's a next pushback then I will move the stop loss to break even and that is my strategy I always first of all I always make sure to put the stop loss every time I take positions and afterwards I always look for when I can exactly move the stop loss to break even so once I see this setup then I move the stop loss to break even then that's gonna be either break even win game but actually the story uh, comes afterwards so once I set the break even and let's see what if the price goes down and um, it hits a stop loss or uh, it, it hits just a break even then I will lose this buy position and uh, the price may continue to go down this way but um, when I exit with this uh, break even then in my head after I see this market I in my head I will think like this I will think like uh, so why the price went down afterwards I thought that the price will go up because I see the uptrend in higher time frames and I get the confirmation to buy here um, I wouldn't go details about this uh, you know how I get get this buy but let's say I find uh, like three confirmations to buy here so I took a buy here and I put the stop loss here expecting the price continue to go up this way and if the market goes down and uh, you know hit this uh, break even then in my head I will think why it happened why the price went all the way down afterwards so this might be due to the news that will be one of the reasons maybe there was some uh, negative uh, news in CHF or positive news in JPY that caused this price to go down so I will look into it I will look for the reason why the price went down or there might be some like a daily resistance level here that created this uh, double top in this lower time frame and the price may go down from here so that will be like a second reason why the price went down so I try to look for the reason why the price went down afterwards by looking at this news or by looking at this technical analysis maybe the pr price was too far away from the Kijun Sen and that's why there was a retracement afterwards so um, no matter I mean uh, whether the price I mean uh, whether I end up with a break even or loss or win I always look at the chart look back this straight and I always analyze what, why it happened so this is the case for the break even but let's say let's say once again I take a buy here and I put the stop loss here and let's say the price goes down afterwards price continues to go down afterwards and hit the stop loss and I get the loss here in this case too I look back the chart and I will try to look for the reason why the price hit the stop loss and also in this case because I lost it then I will also uh, try to think how can I avoid such a loss or how can I exit uh, even the price before it hit the stop loss so uh, while it was downtrending maybe 
there was some uh, like a reverse end wave happening and the price gradually went down and reached this stop loss that might be one of the cases in this case i see in this lower time frame in 15 minute chart i see this uh, like head and shoulders so as soon as i see this head and shoulders most likely the price will retrace backwards so until you know even the price hit this uh, stop loss maybe i could have been exited after this uh, reverse end wave confirmation then i, I you know i would be I will exit here. So, in this case, um, the stop loss or the loss that I have after this end wave reverse end wave confirmation will be much less than the price hit this stop loss. So that might be uh, one of uh, the ways to avoid such a you know loss here until the price hits the stop loss. Or I might see like a um, like a stochastic state cross might be happening at that time so if that was what caused this uh, you know price go down then in the future um, i would take this uh, stochastic state cross as one of the exit timings when there is a reverse head on, i mean when there's a head on charges in the market like this so that might be one of the reasons and also if the price breaks this Kijun Sen downwards, um, that will be a downtrend in theory in Ichimoku. So um, if uh, this was, if the break of this uh, Kijun Sen was slightly above the stop loss like this, then I would better exit even the price hit the stop loss here. So let's say the stop loss was here and Kijun Sen was here. So maybe next time when it happens, I can exit when the price breaks this Kijun Sen downwards until the price hits the stop loss so that I can also minimize the risk in this particular uh, trade for exit timing. So that's when I lose. Uh, when I lose, I constantly think about it and I constantly think about how I can avoid, how I could avoid such a you know, loss to the stop loss. And um, every time I, I um, trade, I, my stop loss is about uh, 2%, sometimes only 1% risk per trade. So even the price hit the stop loss, I only lose 2%. But that's pretty decent so, um, so that I can still look for another trade chance. But um, yeah, 2% risk is actually at most for me. Usually, I exit at the uh, like a 1% or even 0.4% uh, risk. If the price goes down, then I will exit immediate, immediately here. But the point today is that the uh, you know always look for the reasons of win or loss right after the game ends. And um, I like to play chess. I like to play Japanese chess. And I used to play a Japanese chess with my grandfather. And uh, yeah, when because I'm in Tokyo now and my grandfather lives in Osaka. So every time I come back to Osaka to see uh, my grand grandfather, um, we used to play chess. He's now passed away. But um, yeah, that's a nice memory of him uh, playing the Japanese chess with him. And uh, at first, I was constantly losing. But um, I think it was like in my high school age, um, yeah, at some point I was able to win the chess, the Japanese chess against the against my uh, grandfather. But um, yeah, he also plays this, uh, you know, another type of uh, chess, another type of Jap Japanese chess that's called uh, Igo, uh, Igo in, uh, in Japanese. But um, yeah, he was really good at it. So um, every time I come back to Osaka, uh, like in the midnight, he reads his book. He reads his book in front of, in front of this, uh, you know, chess panel. And he actually, you know, plays against himself. I always look at it and it actually sticks in my head. And I think that's kind of attitude that we want to have in anything that we do, especially forex trading or especially 
any type of tradings. Um, I think this is attitude that we want to have. That the uh, we want to look back our trades. We want to uh, you know always analyze ourselves, analyze our trades in the past, and see why it happened, why caused loss, why caused a break even, and also why caused a win, so that we can create the you know decent and stable patterns in the future to avoid these losses or to gain some profits more stably. So consistency is the key. And to, to build up this consistency, I think um, this type of uh, mindset of uh, thinking of the reasons of why it happened is very important. So this is an important process for me, and that's why I, I wanted to talk about this topic. So process matters, and today I wanted to talk about the process of reasoning, the reasoning of why these uh, things happen in the market. And if you if you start to build up this kind of mentality, then uh, you can try to avoid these losses, or you can even create scenarios in the future, and so that uh, you know no matter what happens in the market, you can be psychologically prepared for it. All right, so that's that today's topic. I hope you liked today's live. Uh, today's uh, not the live, sorry. Today's uh, video session. So if <laughs> Sorry, so if you liked today's live or today's video, sorry, please press a good button. I'm so used to say live. <laughs> yeah, if you liked today's video, please press a good button. And if you can subscribe my channel and click the bell button, uh, that, that way uh, you can get notified as I do these lives or videos every day. So tomorrow is going to be part two. And what I will be talking about will be uh, this one. Uh, tomorrow I will talk about the uh, there are reasons for losses. So I wanted to elaborate the mindset towards the losses because usually the losses actually create fear or losses create frustration or upset mindset uh, whenever we lose. So yeah, I will talk about the reasons for losses. There are reasons for losses and I hope you enjoy the video tomorrow too. So I will see you tomorrow, and uh, yeah, please visit my second channel for my private trip for uh, this uh, for this uh, uh, you know outside of Tokyo uh, visit. So I will see you tomorrow, and or see you in a in the second channel. So stay gold. Bye for now. Matane.